sometimes the surface you're working on gets a little grimy. It might have some oxidization on it, and you're going to want to clean it up. Use steel wool for that, usually a very fine steel wool like triple O or double O. That'll really get in there without disturbing the actual copper and clean it up and make the solder stick to it much better. I have see there's some oxidization right here. A little bit of green from some patina that was left on there. If I take my steel wool, just do it very lightly, a few times. You see most of it has come off, it's relatively clean, and now the solder will stick to it with no problems. One of the things you want to remember is to keep your flux clean and free of impurities. And the best way to do that is to put it into a separate container, not the original container it came in. You want to take a little bit of this, probably try and figure out how much you're going to use for each time you're going to use it, put that in a separate container, and then when you're done with that container, discard it. Don't put it back in the original. When you're soldering, make sure that you apply enough solder and move slowly and efficiently like pulling a magnet over the foil. You don't want to use stroking motions like you're painting. You want to do it slowly and smoothly like this. Okay, you obviously you're going to do the front and the back with solder. But don't worry so much about the back, because the back is something that will never be seen by anybody. You really want to have it there for strength, make sure that it's done well, but don't worry about making a really good bead along the back. That could be something that, you know, it'll just never be seen and you'll never have to worry about. Do a good job on the front, and then you'll have a good project. When you do a lot of soldering, you'll end up with little pieces that are obviously too small to actually use because you're getting too close to the iron, it gets too hot, there's no control. You have to dispose of these things properly. These have lead in them. You can't just throw them out into the trash. Keep your old little pieces of solder, put them in some, a safe place, and then find a local place where you can actually dispose of them properly.